So I've been thinking about identity and thinking about branding and of yourself, of your organization, of your passion. I've been thinking a lot about how important that is and the different aspects of that. And one thing that's always been kind of interesting to me is that a lot of people don't have any idea who I am and what I do. These are people that we see each other at all the same conferences. Um, case in point, I had a conversation today with somebody that we touched base earlier in the year and thought it might be a good idea to see if there was any synergy that we could do or if there was a way to work together. And because this individual who has a company that's very successful had no idea um, what I do, he thought that I was asking for um, a job to do some consulting, to be one of his associates. And that is never, um, that's not beneath me. I absolutely am excited to do consulting and work with people and because I always get uh, thicker schema, new ideas. But the part that struck me in this was that when I started to tell him a little bit about my company, Powerful Learning Practice, been around 10 years, professional learning company for connected educators, he said, oh, I just thought you were an ed tech teacher type. I had no idea that you had a company. And then it struck me, this idea about identity and brand and who we are. Now, Powerful Learning Practice has done a lot of work with all different levels. We've worked with individuals, we've worked with schools, we've worked with districts, we've worked with multiple districts at any given time. We've worked at the enterprise level, working with Ministry of Education, the United States Department of Education, uh, as well as in Belize and Canada and uh, Australia all over Australia, all over Canada, you know, New Zealand. So we've gotten around, we've done some things. So we Google well, but um, I, I started thinking about the type of work we do. And in powerful learning practice, we really work often in helping to develop voice, uh, enabling empowerment around the content and around the, the context in which we're working with individuals. And it's not about, um, my brand or promoting me or promoting what I do. Um, so it, it got me thinking about this idea of identity and all of 2017, I've struggled with that. Um, I've been trying to decide, is it time to reinvent myself? Is it time to reinvent my company? Is it time to um, create a new work, a new project? Is it time to, uh, I even played with this year, there were a couple people that were interested in buying powerful learning practice. Is it time for that? Is it time for me to roll up powerful learning practice and um, go to work for somebody else and spend my time, you know, have a thicker organization with which to do some new and creative and wonderful things? Uh, last couple of years, I've taken on consulting projects and uh, they were all different areas, both in education, out of education. And so I did that because I wanted to be inspired. I wanted to be excited about new and different kinds of work. So I've been thinking, you know, if how does one approach this idea of reputation management and identity if you don't necessarily want to go around tooting your own horn and talking about all the work that you do? So um, I'd be really curious from you guys if you could tell me how you've handled that, uh, your own identity, you know, in blogging and in uh, sharing with others. Is this something that um, you've struggled with? Do people Are people surprised when they find out what you do? even though you ran in the same circles for quite some time. Um, I guess it I guess it just kind of took me off guard that um, he did, wasn't even aware that I had a company. So how much how much uh, I guess tooting your own horn and putting yourself out there is appropriate when you're trying to elevate the voices of other people. You know, I purposely didn't build the brand of Cheryl Nussbaum Beach. I built the brand of Powerful Learning Practice because I didn't want the conversations to be my conversations. I wanted them to be your conversations. I wanted even this conversation. I would love it if you would comment uh, here and we could have a conversation about this idea of branding. Um, maybe some ideas that you have for me about, um, maybe you've struggled with the same thing about when is it time to move on to something else or reinvent your company or I guess I'm just I'm really trying to figure it out I'm really trying to figure out what is the right direction to go in and I didn't know if you had any advice for me so if you do hit reply